You are hopeless, useless. Nothing will ever go well for you. Everyone is always better than you. You are unlovable and a failure at life and your craft. Does this horror sound familiar? Well, for a vast portion of people, this language does. Welcome to the rusty, almost rotten corpse that continue the excruciating feeding of the mechanic cycles of toxic shame, pain and hopelessness within you, blocking you from reaching your full potential as a human being and as a sorcerer, a vulva, a victim. You see, the relationship you have with yourself is the most sacred that you will ever have. Self-love is the seder of an immortal, self-nourished heart. Self-love is that trolldom potion that helps your body heal the deepest of wounds. The sense of being a self-imposed martyr in utter self-denial with no real understanding of love. When we don't learn how to love ourselves, depression, bitterness, resentment, anxiety, isolation and a great deal of unhappiness and disconnection are the result. Self-love is not just a blind adoration of our strengths, it's also an embrace of the weakness of our shadows. You see, lows are inevitable in life, but it's on us to keep the magic alive. Self-love is the main ingredient in whatever magical work you intend to do. It is our fuel, it is the foundation for who you are. Your witchcraft practice builds on this foundation and if it isn't solid, your craft feels shaky. Self-love a simple thing, right? Or even worse, what a cheesy topic she chose today. The brutal reality is we all are highly aware of how it is very important for all of us to practice self-love, yet we do not know how to perform the most sacred of witchcraft blots. We don't know the answer to how to love ourselves. We are all so busy in loving others, working hard, that we forget what it is like to take a pause from this busy life and love the person sweating for all of that. Reality is we can only give what we have. If we are stressed out, burned out, angry, frustrated, and even depressed, that is what we are giving back to ourselves, others, the land, and our craft. Self-love is just not a state of feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for oneself that grows from solid actions that support our physical, psychological and spiritual growth. Self-love is not selfish. It's about connecting to your innermost needs, celebrating the freedom of being you and honoring who you truly are while dropping your destructive patterns. Self-love is living your life authentically, expressing exactly who you are and exactly how you feel. It is feeling everything as powerfully as the fire that burns inside of you and love as fearlessly as the words that fall from your tongue every day. In the cauldron of all the possible ingredients you will choose for a blot, your heart is the very first ingredient. And believe me, if we can nourish a limiting thought or belief, then we can just as easily do the same for a non-limiting 
one. If we can build walls in our mind that obstruct our progress in our life and craft, then we can most certainly knock them down. You see the miracle and magnitude of the land, the gods, and the migration of the reindeer through the frozen tundra do not contain self-doubt. We are the ones who open a door for that miracle and magnitude to walk through. When we allow ourselves to live a life where our main reference points are the land, its beings and the gods, borders dissolve, barriers come crashing down and we catch a fierce glimpse of limitlessness and expansion. You see, when we feel incomplete within ourselves. This sense of partiality tends to attract a partial relationship with the gods and the land that lasts for some time and then dissolves. So my yoik for you today is be like a reindeer. Be like a reindeer fighting the rage of the unforgiving tundra by feeling whole with the flow of constant movement, whole with the crashing winds and the shaky grounds, whole with the promise of sun at the horizon. Be like a reindeer and keep walking and living and loving each step. It is only when you feel whole within yourself that you attract the wholesome experience that provides the sustenance to accompany and enhance your life and craft. To develop self-love, we need to look within at the ways in which we block the flow, the movement to feel that love. Without self-love, without mastering self-doubt, you may easily graft yourself onto another person's energy, into another person's witchcraft practice, because you are not rooted in who you are. Your rootedness comes from your relationship with the gods, hills and rocks, and the ever-present reality of love and self-worth. This relationship with the sacred is deeply personal, something for you alone to understand and cultivate. Rooted in your own unique connection with the sacred, your life becomes like a well-nourished tree growing in fertile soil. Self-love is the most sacred act, the most precious of bloods you can possibly perform. How to practice self-love then? Allow yourself to be wholly who you are. You embody the divine, the sacred, not less than the land and the gods. You are not less than the offerings you place on your altar, than the entities you are trying to summon, than the place where your rituals take place in nature. It is from an understanding of this that you can empower the quality of your craft and overall connection with the powers you are engaging with. When you are able to look at the luminosity behind your skin, no matter what color it is or what state it may be in, you see it is that luminosity and how it shines that really matters. That luminosity is in you as it is in everything. It is when radiance meet radiance that we can truly share a field of experience with ground and divinity. Our body has 60,000 miles of blood vessels. Our nose can remember 50 thousand different smells and our bones are stronger than steel. We produce 300 billion new cells every single day. We are made up of seven octillion atoms and think that we experience this miracle 
every day? Are we really here wondering how to self-love? We hurt, we grieve, we cry, we yell, we yoik, we howl, we drum, we blot, we pray, we smudge. These all stream from the most powerful life force love loving yourself is the ancestor of all magical acts you can think about performing and that is because i strongly believe that once you are loving yourself and honoring yourself you become a magnet for the gods Thank you so very much for watching this video. Thanks for spending some of your time here with me today. It's been truly appreciated and see you all in my next video. Tack så mycket! Hej då!